Zeal Education Society. Redefining Excellence. Hello everyone. I am Rohan Sohmule. Today I am going to present our micro project which is build heat control circuit using SCM. So first of all, what does heat controlling circuit mean? In a heat control in a heating circuit, you have the actual conducting wires, heat pad, heat surface and the electronics. The heat pad has properties that the electronics has to take care of, like total resistance. So the electronics used is depending on your heating pad design. What is SCR? SCR also means silicon controlled rectifier. So a silicon controlled rectifier or semiconductor controlled rectifier is a four layer solid state current controlling device. The principle of four layer PNPN switching was developed by Mohl, Tannenbaum, Goldie and Holonyak or Bell Laboratories in 1956. So we are going to see what are the applications of silicon controlled rectifiers. Silicon controlled rectifiers are mainly used in the devices where the control of higher power possibly coupled with high voltage is demanded. The operation, their operation makes them suitable for use in medium to high voltage AC power control applications such as lamp tipping, power, power regulators and motor control. Silicon controlled rectifiers and similar devices are used for rectification of higher power AC in high voltage DC power transmission. They are also used in the control of welding machines, mainly GTAW, which means gas tungsten arc welding, and similar other processes. It is used as a switch in various devices. Early solid state pinball machines made use of this to control lights, swell nuts and other functions digitally instead of mechanical. Hence the name is solenoid state. Now, how heat controller circuit using SCRs actually works. The amount of the electrical load, which is load current, is supplied to the heater, which is set by the silicon controlled rectifier power controller. The heat sensor sends a signal to the temperature controller indicating the heat required by the load. The temperature controller's process output signal is sent to the silicon control rectifier or controller. This is the circuit diagram. We can control heat 
with the use of the silicon control rectifier. First of all, a easy supply is provided from an input which is connected to diode 1 capacitor, silicon control rectifier and diode 2 and the heat load. In middle, resistor 1 and resistor 2 is connected over here. R2 is a sensitive element because its resistance decreases when heat is increased and its resistance increases when the heat is decreased. Diode 1 conducts in the positive half cycle of the alternating current and the second diode which is D2 works in negative half cycle of the alternating current. R1 will behave as constant current source and the C1 will store current. In this way the circuit works. Thank you for your attention. Society Redefining Excellence